Hey, what's up guys? I do uh, Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. And um, this is, I do all the lead code problems, so you can check those out on my channel. I have a playlist. And now I'm doing all the hacker rank problems. And I'm going to do all, I'm just doing all the problems algorithm and data structures wise on the internet I can find until I get to Google. So this is the first hacker rank video, and this one's called Arrays Left Rotation. I'm going through an interview preparation kit. So. Uh, we're just starting easy, and then we'll get harder as we go. So this one says, check out resources, da 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 da, -da. Gail uh, Lockman McDowell explains it, I guess. Um, and a left rotation operation on an array shifts each element one unit to the left. For example, two left rotations on an array. So basically, the one gets put to the back, then the two gets put to the back. You're rotating the array to the left, and then it becomes three, four, five, one, two. So you rotate two to the left. These elements get put to the back. These elements all get put to the left. That's pretty basic stuff right there, I'd say. Uh, given an A of N integers and a number D, perform D rotations on the array, return the updated array to be printed on a single line of space uh, separated integers. Um, you have a rotated left function. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, we're just doing it. Basically, our input is an array and the number of ro left rotations we should do. Um, I looked at the solution for this problem, so let me show you what the solution says. This is the solution. We're going to create a new array, and then we're going to do, they do this built-in method, system.copy, uh, array copy, but guess what? We're not going to do that because that just seems like it defeats the point of the problem, uh, doing these built-in methods. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually, I don't know if they implemented it maybe, no, they didn't. I don't see so. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to implement it ourselves. Um, I've, what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the size of the array first. So size equals a dot length. Crap. Uh, then we're going to create our new array just like they did. Uh, we'll call it rotated array. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, equals new int of the same size. It's going to be the same size, same elements, just rotated. Um, so we just pass in size. And then what we have to do is we have to specify counters. So I is going to be used to index our new array. So as we add elements into our new array, we're going to be doing it like rotated array of I will be equal to, and then we'll increment I. And then we also have another index called, uh, I'm just going to call it rotate index, uh, and that will be set to D. So why do we set it to D? Because if you notice, if we're rotating two elements to the left, um, that means we're going to start our final answer is going to be, so this rotates two elements to the left. The first element we're gonna put in is the element at the second index. So zero, one, two. So this, at, starting at the second index, we're gonna go up to the length of the array, and the initial array, so second index to the length of the array, so three, four, five. We're gonna stop there, then we're gonna set it back to zero, our rotated index set back to zero, and grab the last whatever is remaining. So that's pretty much the algorithm right there. It's pretty standard. Um, so while rotate uh, index is less than size, uh, we're just going to do rotated array of i is equal to a of rotate index. Um, and then you just increment them both. So i plus plus uh, rotate index plus plus. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That gets the first elements, like I said, starting at the d. So you start at D, you go up to the size, and then at the end you just have to reset it back to zero and get those initial elements uh, while rotate index is um, less than um, D. Yeah, now, now you have to go up to D. You don't go up to size anymore. So you go up to size at first because you, you grab the second element to the size. So you grab three, four, five, you put them in. And then you go from 0 to D, less than D. So you go from 0 to 1, you grab 1 and 2, and you put them at the end. That's the algorithm. Um, and it's going to be the same exact thing that we have right here. And that's pretty much it. Super standard. All you have to do is return your new array at the end, uh, rotated array. This doesn't use that built-in solution that they give you. I don't know why they would even use built-in methods. I feel like uh, a real hacker rank or test is Return rotated array of I, sorry, you're returning the actual whole, whole array here. I don't know why they'd use built-in methods because, you know, in a real interview or real hacker rank challenges, you're going to have to actually implement real code. So 
Um, just get in the habit of doing that, I feel like, is better. So we run all the test cases, we pass them all, uh, and that was it. This is a pretty standard solution. You could watch this video if you want. I think it probably just explains the same thing that we just did. Um, now, this is just about the data structures, but um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have better solutions. Um, and thank you guys for watching. That's the first hack rank one, and we're going to do a ton of them more right now. So see you guys later. Thanks.